Be a little rivalry. Maybe we'll be on top again. At the end of the day, <laughs> never hurts. Grambling State University kicks on at the Cotton Bowl, where Angela's Guillory and Andrea Hollingsworth Thomas, I came prepared, <laughs> spent years watching their alma maters battle. And in 1985, when I was a freshman, I came to the State Fair Classic. But this time, it's neutral ground. Setting their rivalry aside, the two are working on a major project together. <laughs> renovating the historic stadium. It really is just a sense of pride for me and really our entire project team. Now, full circle, you're part of the group, um, not just visiting, but part of the group that's building it. This $140 million project is one of the largest investments in Fair Park history. $140 million is nothing to sneeze at. It shows the investment of the city of Dallas for the citizens, not only of the entire Metroplex, but South Dallas specifically. Darren James is president of Fair Park First, the nonprofit managing the park. A lot of things we heard were it was so tight and congested. So the goal is to finish renovations by the 2025 State Fair of Texas, adding 14 escalators, more restrooms, concession stands, new multi-story entries, and expanding the concourses with two new outdoor terraces. We're trying to increase that uh, patron flow so that they can get their corny dogs and then get back to the game. It's and we'll at the end of the day, we'll see. Back to battling it out. What about the time before that? And the but time and, before that? And, and the time before that? For their own personal wins. At the end of the day, <laughs> Gremlin is your daddy. Always. <laughs> In Fair Park, I'm Brittany Moncrease.